children, today we have again our monthly Requiem Mass for the Purgatorio Society. In this Mass, and we do what we should do every day, namely say some prayers for the poor souls who have to wait their entrance into heaven because they still need to be purged or purified from some of their sins which they did when they were here on earth. As, uh, the, as our Lord exhorts us every morning when we come to school, he tells us, if you love me, follow me. And what that means that we don't just believe in God or hear his word. We also want to follow him, namely do good deeds in, while we are living in this earth and certainly praying for the faithful departed is one of the very good ways how we do follow him. Any man who dies loving God and believing what the church teaches, he will go to heaven. But if he has failed in following our Lord, he might need to go to purgatory to be purified of his sins. Do you remember what is sin? Sin is disobedience to God's laws. And sins um, from which we fail to do penance on earth, those um, we must suffer in purgatory. And for those souls who are in purgatory doing penance for their sins on earth, it is for those souls we pray for, so that they could soon see God in heaven. How do we do follow uh, then uh, our Lord on this earth, so that we will avoid purgatory? We learn from some tips from today's saint, uh, Saint Juliana of Nicomedia, and her story teaches us how exactly to avoid sin. This Saint, Saint Juliana of Nicomedia, her, her hometown was, is what is modern-day Greece, and she suffered during the horrible persecutions of Emperor Diocletian in the beginning of the 4th century. She was given to marriage to a high-ranking official in Nicomedia, but she said she wouldn't marry him because he was a pagan, only way how the marriage would uh, come true was that if he would become a Catholic. But he refused, so St. Juliana refused him. And the denied suitor, uh, he got terribly angry, so he sent her to prison. And then when St. Juliana was in prison, she was visited by an evil spirit. Usually saints get visits from other saints or angels, but this time it was an evil uh, devil who came to visit her. And this devil said to Saint Juliana that it was his job to go around the world and tempt people to commit sins. And interestingly, this uh, devil said that he does it not just out of evil, but also out of fear. Because whenever uh, a devil fails to tempt a good Catholic to mm, uh, commit a sin, if they stay strong in following Christ, these devils are punished for that they failed in their mission. So what do the devils do in order to tempt people to uh, commit sin? When they see a good Catholic who loves and obeys God, they send to him many bad and evil thoughts so that he doesn't persevere in his prayers or in good works. Or if the devil see anyone going on his way to church or in other good place, the evil spirit said to Saint Juliana that the devils get into their ways and try to stop them of doing these good things or to go to church. So we are many times tempted in this world not to follow the orders and commandments of God, and because of this 
some people unfortunately need to go to purgatory to make their penance for their sins after their death. But how are uh, these bad thoughts or these devils defeated? The, uh, it was said to St. Juliana that if the person resists them, the bad thoughts, if he puts them away, and if he says his prayers faithfully and does the good deeds and hears the Mass, in him these evil spirits have no power. And when a faithful Catholic receives Holy Communion, the devils don't even dare to go near him anymore. So this is what St. Juliana learned, and for the little time she had on earth, she tried to tell the people that if they want to avoid sin, they must be faithful to God, say their prayers, go to church, and receive Holy Communion. And when she was taken to the place of her execution, she admonished the people to do exactly that, to love and serve Jesus Christ. And if they do that, the evils have no power whatsoever over them. So dear children, today when we do a little bit penance for the poor souls, we should also uh, imitate our Lord in great charity, always being very faithful in our own duties and obligations to God. And we do that exactly in the way what we learn from St. Juliana. Be very faithful in saying our prayers, especially our morning and evening prayers and our holy rosary. Always also being very nice and polite and good to our neighbor and go to hear holy sacrifice of the Mass and also uh, go to Holy Communion whenever it is possible for us to do so. In this way, we are truly not uh, only uh, those faithful Catholics who love our Lord, but who also follow Him. And with these little sacrifices of our own, we can do so much good in this world and even help people who have already died, namely that we help them uh, to do little penance for them so that they could very soon enjoy the everlasting heaven with Jesus and Mary forever. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.